Okay, so we've got that. We've got a fuselage, and I think it's time to look at the wings. Um, so I'll put that to one side, and I can admire that from a distance whilst look at the fans for the wings and what we've got. Okay, so we need to build the outline. Um, but we also need to cut out lots of wings between 20 of these templates drawn on the plan. Uh, four of these funky, funky stubby ones, um, which I don't believe are actually correct for the lower wing. I need two of these, not four, for the upper wing. The lower wing, they're going to be in a slightly different position. Um, yeah, these arrows are wrong as well. Um, <laughs> So this arrow is pointing to the dotted lines, that shows the where the wing wood position is on the lower wing because obviously it butts up against the fuselage and this arrow should be pointing to this dotted line there for the starboard wing. So if I put my fuselage on there, it should line up, it should line up quite nicely with the dotted lines which it nearly does, so that's not too bad. Uh, it isn't quite as drawn the plan, but then nothing's perfect. Anyway, I'm going to build the top wing first because that's what's drawn on the plan. Um, so I just cut out some uh, wing ribs, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut two out of plywood, and then I can use those as templates. And I'll sandwich between those two templates some nice soft balsa wood. It doesn't actually say the thickness of the wood. I'm assuming it's 16 for the wing ribs, which I will do. I'll do with you know, quite light 16 balsa. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Cut a plywood template times two. Then I'm going to cut out a load of rectangular blanks that are big enough. Sandwich those between my templates, and I'm just going to carve the whole lot in one go. Um, other thoughts are the there's a single lower spar. Um, not really a fan of that. I've done that before, and they do tend to curve. They tend to curl, so it's probably going to be better to have a top and a bottom spar. Um, it's a deviation, and there's not a deviation I can hide from the judges, so I'll just have to. I, whatever marks I might lose on the static, on the closeness to the plan, for having an upper spar, I will gain by not having banana shaped wings. So it's, not, it's nice to have straight wings, isn't it? So let's go with that. So I'm not going to do the lower notch as is, I'm going to do. A 16th square top and bottom spar because that will be better. Um, and it does away, they show a centre spar um, with notches cut out. Oh, you know, it could work because that's quite a deep spar. Hmm. Yeah, my, my instinct is to do a top and a bottom spar. My I like to try and build close to the plan, but I don't really like it. Um, notching out a, a spar, it might work because it's deep. If it's deep enough, it might be alright. And it is quite nice to not visually have that top spar. Um, I'm going to go with my instinct and just do a top and bottom spar. I think that's the right thing to do. Well, we'll see. I never know what I quite what I'm doing until I actually do it. So. Let's cut some. Let's cut that template out. Well, there's one. Um, normally, I would probably cut out the paper plan and stick it on like I did before with print stick but I didn't want to cut out the plan and I couldn't be bothered to make another copy so I just shaped the plywood and got the shape off the you know, by trial and error really but it's easy enough so I've got one I just need to make another just like that Two. <clears throat> sure then. 
Now I need a stack of also. bigger piece than I need it'll do. Alright so um, I could do this in 30 seconds but the weight saving would be so neg negligible there's no point. I'm doing it one sixteenth and that is what the plan suggests. Judging by how it's drawn. So I'm just going to cut a stack of blanks. There you go, there's 20 odd blanks. 21 to be precise. Uh, I could try and do all those in one go, but actually I think it's going to be easier to do them in two or three batches, because otherwise I'll never get my pins through that lot. So I've got my template at each end, gives me something to work to. So yeah, I think I might just do five at a time. So there's five. Make my sandwich, pop my pins through there, hold those together, and uh, carve away. That. So the sparse square is that's all lined up. Trim, trim, bosh, and then we're ready. Right then, so it's time to look at the swing. Um, I've just about fitted up my building board, which is good, which means I can do port side and starboard side at the same time. I'm not going to, I'll do the centre section as a separate piece. Um, so over the parts of the plan where I think things might potentially stick. So leading edge. Any wrinkles? Treading edge. They're sticking to my plan. I'm going to put over that wing tip as well because that's crying out to stuck to the plan. Oop. Same that. I've laminated my whole plan. Good. Might use a bit of masking tape. Not that out.
Right. Trading edges, cut. One, two, let's go for two rings at the same time, shall we? I'll cut that a little bit over long. Same with that one. Spare bits. Pins. So I'm going to pin this outline on, not the leading edge, I'll put the leading edge on probably afterwards. So a trailing edge and the wing tips, I've already cut those pieces out. Um, I'll cut W5 and W6, it's called out. Uh, pin down my spars, pop me wing ribs on. Um, but let's just do that. I made a terrible error because I've forgotten to notch my trailing edge. I'm going to do that, haven't I?
Right, I've got some wings. Um, top wings I recorded, and the bottom two wings I put together off camera. Exactly the same process, no point repeating that. So, there we go. I've given them a rough sort of sounding just to get the shapes of the wingtips, etc. But they need a good going over. Um, they're nowhere near ready for tissue covering yet. Um, so, I need to go around carefully with a sanding block. Um, find out where all the weak joints are and repair those because there's bound to be a couple. Um, the only thing I haven't done yet is the centre section of the top wing, uh, which, different to the plan, I'm going to build as a separate piece. Um, so I'll put those up there on the shelf out of the way so I don't break them. I've cut a little piece out there for that trailing edge that sits there. And then it's just two wing ribs, a leading edge and top and bottom spar. So that's not going to take very long. Um, so I'll just pin down my trailing edge to get that in. That's going to go on there. In you go. It's not as perfect as I'd like. I'll just shift that over slightly. One more in there. I've got two wing ribs. I, need to, I needed to cut an extra one because I hadn't cut enough out. Couldn't count for some reason. Um, these are also too long. This is a full size wing rib. Um, these ones need to be cut down to size to fit that notch. What I'll do, I'm not going to try and shape it perfectly first, I'll pop it in and then I'll shape it with my sounding block afterwards. Um, partly because I want to match it with the root of the neighbouring wing that's going to attach there. So to know exactly where that's going to go requires that spar to be in the right place. I'm going to that's extra long so I can put pins in each end of the parts of the spar that are going to eventually get cut off when they get trimmed to length. I'm not weakening the actual structural part of the wing. Ugh, bent the pin. There we go. Bottom spar. That's going to notch over there nicely. I just need to mark where that needs to be trimmed into that notch. There. Using my craft knife as a marking knife there, which hasn't worked. Can't see that. Oh, it's okay. dry fit. There we go. What I might do, I might cheat and I'll use that as a template to cut the second one. They should be the same length. So if I cut them the same length, they'll be the same length. Right, there we go. Trim. There we go. So whilst I'm making the wings, I'm thinking about how we attach these to the fuselage. There aren't really any instructions for how to do that. Um, the struts on the plan are just one sixteenth square. I'm not sure that's going to last very long. Um, this is really hard balsa. So I'm going to have to think about how to connect these. I haven't really uh, got a final answer yet. So we'll see. But sometimes you have to think of these things as you're building away. Same with the undercarriage. The undercarriage is a bit, a bit of an unknown. Basically I've got the freedom to do what I think is best. Um, even the wing route for the lower wings where they're attached straight onto the fuselage. There's not really much to go on. 
in terms of structure so I'm probably going to infill a couple of those bays with some extra balsa wood just to give me something to stick the wings onto um, sometimes these old kits are a bit like that you know you get all the parts but it's not necessarily very clear how you actually attach things sometimes you just have to get a bit creative so I'll put that in there I'll get the top spar in might even uh, it's easier to put the leading edge on afterwards I find and hold it on the and tape whilst the glue dries um, but because it is just a tiny little piece I might just peel it on um, make that, I need to make that fit between my pins so I'll just use my craft knife thumb to do that a little bit of glue in the notch there and a little bit in there I'm about to use the back of my knife just to help press things in. I really ought to check that that's all upright. It's not so small actually. My knife makes a nice little guide. That's good. Also whilst it's drying I'll put some weight on it and make sure it's all flat to the board because otherwise you get them all lifting up. Um, so I didn't do with one of my lower wing panels which has got a bit of a twist in it which is not good news so I'm going to dampen that up a little bit and press that down overnight. Um, a little bit of a leading edge cut. I might as well just pop that in now. stuff make sure that's there and there there we go and that just needs holding on with a couple of pins on the front trying to hold it all together that's a tiny little wing in it Therefore, it's fiddly. There we go. Make sure those pins are in solid. Make sure everything's down where it should be before I walk away. And actually, that makes a nice little press. Make sure they're down flat. Put it on there. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, so I'm going to put my knife across there on the front. That'll do. Happy days, right? So we've nearly got wings. Uh, tailplane next. 